Hi folks, this is DiffyQ Quiz 1. We're asked to show a set of functions form a fundamental set of solutions to a given differential equation. So what's it mean to be a fundamental set of solutions? Well, we have three criteria we need to match up. Number one, we, they have to be solutions. In other words, we need to check that each of these functions satisfy the differential equations. Uh, number two, they have to be linearly independent. We'll check that using our friend the Ronskian. So we need the Ronskian to be non-zero for at least one point in the interval that we're looking at. And since no interval is specified, we'll assume it's all real numbers. And three, the number of functions uh, has to match the order of the diff uh, differential equation. That's how we know we've actually we actually have enough to form a fundamental set. So let's look at each of these in turn. First we'll check for solutions. So let's look at y equal e to the minus x. We get its derivative and its second derivative. And now we're going to uh, put them into the equation. y double prime plus 2y prime plus y and we're going to see if that's equal to zero. This falls out pretty quickly. We have e to the minus x minus 2 e to the minus x plus e to the minus x. Is that zero? Well, I think you can see we get zero. So zero equals zero. That means it's a solution. Now we look at the second function here, x e to the minus x. I take the derivative here. I get e to the minus x minus x e to the minus x. And I can factor out the e to the minus x there and get 1 minus x e to the minus x. Then I can find the second derivative minus e to the minus x uh, plus I guess minus 1 minus x e to the minus x and once again I can factor out that e to the minus x and I have negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2 plus x so I get an x minus 2 e to the minus x and now I see if y double prime plus 2y prime plus y and make sure that's zero. So y double prime, I have x minus 2 e to the minus x plus 2 y prime plus y. And is that equal to zero? So let's go through and look at coefficients here. As far as x e to the minus x goes, I get an x e to the minus x minus 2 x e to the minus x plus x e to the minus x. So I get 2x e to the minus x minus 2x e to the minus x. Here I get minus 2 e to the minus x. Here I get plus 2 e to the minus x. Is that 0? Those ca uh, cancel off, those cancel off. And sure enough, I get 0 equals 0. So we've just shown that both of these guys are solutions to the differential equation. Now let's show that they're linearly independent. So to show they're linearly independent, I'm going to take the Ronskian. And remember how the Ronskian is defined if I have two functions, y1 and y2. I take the determinant. The first row is the functions. The second row is their derivatives. And what I need for linear independence is I need this to be non-zero for at least one x in the domain I'm talking about. And as we mentioned earlier, we can take our interval to be all real numbers. So, uh, take our Ronsky in here. y1 we'll use as e to the minus x. So I take its derivative. y2 is x e to the minus x. So I'll take its derivative. And now I take the determinant, just like we did in algebra. I take this times that. I'm going to get e to the minus 2x 
minus x e to the minus 2x. Then I subtract what I get here. So when I multiply these, I get a negative, but I'm subtracting it, I'm going to get a positive x e to the minus x. So I get e to the minus 2x. And this is non-zero. In fact, as the theorem tells us, it's since these are both solutions to the same linear homogeneous ODE, uh, in fact, they're not zero, it's not zero anywhere. So it's non-zero for all real numbers. And so this means that we are linearly independent. And then the last thing to check is, do we have enough? Well, we have two functions here, and the order of this diff EQ is 2. And so we have found two linearly independent solutions to this homogeneous linear ordinary differential equation. Therefore, they comprise a fundamental set. So that'll do it for quiz one.